Hello guys, so I'm not dead yet, I'm still alive, so where have I been? Well, definitely not jesting around. Okay, maybe a little, but I've been unmotivated to work on videos for a while now, in part because I'm very perfectionistic when it comes to education. Education should be like learning how to dance, where feedback is immediate, like this. Kelly, will you show us? I'll show you. Let's do it. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. You see? It's easy. Ideally, it should be like a game of Pong, where I hit a ball, and then you hit it back. And if you mess up along the way, we'll of course correct as soon as possible to get you proficient and fix that mistake immediately. But today, in modern education, when a teacher hits a ball, it sometimes moves so slow that you get bored, and you only get a hit it back the next day or so, and sometimes you even get a hit it back at all, which like, just makes education not that fun, boring, and tiring. I think this is in part why so many videos out there, like Khan Academy and etc, they get comments like, you taught me better than my teacher did in 5 minutes than they did in 4 hours, or the whole semester. So instant practice and application is what I was aiming for, right? The moment something is taught is the moment you get to play with it, like shortly after, which means that we need a nearly infinite amount of practice problems. And I couldn't find any free tools that met my needs, one that encourages programmable and collaborative development on the course material. And for the longest time, I was just waiting for someone to build the perfect infrastructure until I finally said screw it, like I'm tired of waiting, so I built something dead simple to get started with. It's a really dumb, simple static site generator where you just contribute problems via JSON, right? Really easy to contribute, and you discuss developing the course material on GitHub, right? No, no analytics, no login, lots of things I want to improve on, but for now, I think it'll calm my tendencies. And I'll probably do a separate video discussing it later. But anywho, to the future. So I don't know my audience that well. And the funny thing is that this channel was started on impulse. One day I was just like, hey, why aren't there any free materials for Phaser? Three, right? For learning it. And I just went and did it. And to my surprise, I didn't think I'd even get noticed. So the feedback was kind of overwhelming. The funny thing is that I still look around Phaser 3's Discord, and I still remember enough to help some people, so I guess making videos really cemented it in my brain. Anywho, Phaser 4 is coming out, and it's using TypeScript, thank god. I might do a series on that since I feel like the Phaser 3 series doesn't explain things well, and I could have done a better job in certain parts. Uh, these days, I've been fed up with JavaScript, honestly. So I've really been digging into low-level systems programming, and I'm definitely going to do a series on that coming soon. But overall, I want I know I want to do something related to programming and technology. But what are you guys interested in? Like, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments, and I will check them over. But that is it for this video. I am back for the foreseeable future. I will try to maintain a regular upload schedule. And I will catch you in the next one.